We have some groundbreaking health news for the more than 30 million Americans suffering from diabetes. One in four is at risk of a wound that won't heal, maybe even losing a limb, which could lead to an early death. But tonight, St. John Providence is on the cutting edge of new technology to prevent this from happening, thereby saving lives. For 71-year-old Carolyn Harris, her 7-year-old granddaughter Sophia Louise, better known as Little Mama, is her heart. But an injury to her foot left her in a wheelchair and unable to play with her grandbaby. I must have broke it and it healed on its own. It caused excruciating pain. Come to find out it had set up bad infection. Carolyn started getting wounds that would not heal. She got opinions from several doctors who said her lower leg or foot would need to be amputated. I cried, yes, called my son and I cried. I just, I just couldn't, I just couldn't. Hello, Ms. Harris. She was referred here to Providence Hospital in Southfield and podiatric surgeon Dr. Victor Wosu. She had an infection, a severe infection that couldn't be treated with antibiotics. Dr. Wosu is part of the team at the St. John Providence Amputation Prevention Clinic. We wanted to exhaust, you know, everything that we had to help her. It would be a long, slow roll for me, but he promised that he would save my foot. <laughs> They use cutting edge technology and a multidisciplinary approach to prevent amputations, including a patient's commitment to hyperbaric care. For Ms. Harris, it took a lot of dedication on her part for her wounds to actually heal. She would go inside this hyperbaric chamber five days a week for at least two hours. At first, I was afraid. I had one wound, two wounds, three wounds, and, and it just healed it all. And about one in four patients with diabetes in their lifetime will develop a non-healing ulcer. And many times they require amputations. Dr. Shukri David, the chair of Heart and Vascular Services at St. John Providence, says this treatment is revolutionary. 70% of patients who've had below the knee amputations will have passed away uh, within five years. Only one thing is worse than that, which is lung cancer. Dr. David uses this x-ray to demonstrate for us how this patient has no blood flow in his foot. Normally, this would lead to amputation. Traditionally, we look from forward down. We went backwards, retrograde. They use tiny veins in the ankle and reconnect them to veins in the lower leg with these tiny wires and balloons, much like they do when there's a blockage in your heart. And that restores the critical blood flow to the lower legs and foot. About 70% of amputations are preventable by looking at these new technologies. For Carolyn, this treatment not only saved her foot, it gave her a reason to keep on living and enjoying the life of a grandma to Sophia. She was used to seeing granny at the hospital, so now she can see granny living a quality of life. Which is a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Carolyn says the whole team at Providence helped her. Even the nurses came to her home when she couldn't do things on her own. The good news, there are two amputation prevention clinics available today, one at Providence Southfield, the other at St. John Hospital in Detroit, and they are truly making a difference because so many people risk losing a limb. Well, and Dr. David said, what, 70% are unnecessary? 70%, yes, unnecessary, but 70% will end up losing a leg and will die within wow. five years, which right. is most critical. Whatever you do, check with the doctors, make it's sure you do it right. Exactly.